head speech entitled The Worst That Can Happen. Please welcome, for some everybody. One day, uh, when I was about 21, I woke up in my sleeping bag, soaking wet, by the side of the Grand Canal in Venice. And the reason I was soaking wet was because the police were using a water cannon to get all the vagrants, me being one of them, off the side of the canal so all the nice tourists could walk along there in peace without being bothered by us. So, how did I get there? We go back a couple of days. I was walking down the high street in my hometown and I saw a travel agent. And in the travel agent, uh, for the young people, travel agents is how we used to go on holiday <laughs> in medieval times. Um, and in the window of the travel agent was a postcard. And the postcard said, Venice, return 50 pounds. And I thought, I've got 50 pounds, I'll go to Venice. So, rang up my, the pub where I worked as a barmaid, told them I wasn't going to be there anymore, got on a flight, went to Venice. Now, I did have 50 pounds, that's true. I pretty much only had 50 pounds. <laughs> so, not much money for food, definitely no money for somewhere to stay. And I thought to myself, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll all work out. And it did. I had my sleeping bag, slept in a few fields, on a few beaches, by the side of the canal, and had a brilliant time, met some weird, wacky, wonderful people. One of the best times of my life. And when I think back to that girl, I think, how was I so fearless? Now, you know, one reason, obviously, clearly, was oh, I was an idiot. <laughs> but that can't necessarily be all of it. That's fine when you're 19. You're meant to be an idiot. It's pretty much your job, isn't it? 21. Um, but I thought there probably was more to it than that. And I was really interested in finding out what that was. And there was a reason why, as I got older, I really did want to find out what what made me fearless. And that's because as I got older, I was becoming fearful, more and more fearful. In fact, fear was becoming a normal part of my everyday life in the form of anxiety, creeping into my life, waking up in the morning with this sense of dread, staying awake all night thinking of all the scenarios where the absolute worst can happen. And I thought, what happened to that fearless girl? And I think I came up with an, with an answer. And here it is. Think about how many times you do something every day that makes you scared. Now, I would put bets on the fact that if you're young, you probably do it a lot. You're going to university, first job, first love, all those things. You're pretty much jumping down water slides every day, not knowing where you're going to come out the other end. As you get older, not so much. As you get older, we make our life risk-proof. We go out with all the same friends, go to the same places, stick in our jobs, make sure we have a pension until we're dead. Now, you might think, well, surely that should make you more secure less anxious. You know what's going to happen in your life. I don't think human beings work that way. I think human beings want to feel the adrenaline rush of jumping into the void. And we, as we get older, create a life where we don't give ourselves that. But our mind and our body does it for us. Welcome to anxious mornings and anxious nights. So, here's what I think the answer is. Be scared. Be scared every single day. Metaphorically and literally, if you want to, jump off a fucking cliff. <laughs> it is the thing that 
is going to make you feel alive. If you don't have any friends that want to go on holiday with you, book the holiday, go on your own. If standing in front of a group of people literally makes you want to be sick, join a public speaking course. <laughs> Invite fear into your life. It could turn out to be a friend.